pump's not turning on, but got everything going. I just need to diagnose that pump, maybe even buy a new pump. I'm not even so, sure. <laughs> I took it apart and it's all nasty. Uh, I got this off of a divorced wife. <laughs> she just sold it to me. And it's it just sat around for like a year or so until I'm using it, but it's like she just took it out and then yeah, we didn't clean it up or anything and then I just put it in storage. I'm gonna clean this up, get a wet paper towel, stick my finger in there and wipe it up, put it back together. Hopefully it'll start spinning for us again. Alright, I got her wiped up and back in. If it doesn't turn on, we're gonna be set back a couple of weeks because I'll I need to find another pump and like refabricate all of the piping and everything. Alexa, turn on water box main pump. Okay. Oh my god. Yep, it's dead. Okay, I was messing with the wires and I completely screwed in that plug right there to make sure everything's like super tight. And let's give it another test after like three tries now. Um, Alexa, turn on main. Alexa, turn on water box main pump. Okay. Oh, I hear it spinning up. Okay, water's flowing through. It's coming through my um, glass lily pipe. Let's check for leaks everywhere. This is leaking. No leaks here. Now, it's going through my main, um, my manifold right here. And I don't have everything turned on yet, so checking for leaks no leaks no leaks all around let's check this union okay okay so water's flowing through from the overflow right here down into the drain and then back into the sump. I need to fine tune everything, but the water's cycling pretty good. Let me fill up the, the sump right here so we get a water level. All right. The water's cycling through. I need to fine tune everything. But yeah, I'm pretty happy where we're at. Let's get some more water in here right now. I'll turn the camera off, get some more water in here, and then we'll test the, the manifolds and the UV to make sure everything's working. All right, so we're back. I got water up here above the normal level right here. So I wanna fill up my, um, my reactors and see if they leak. First of all, I'm sure everything here is tightened down. It's been almost a year since I set everything up and I don't remember everything I did before. So let's tighten down everything just to make sure. See, they're all super loose. So around May or June of last year, supposed to start this up but then um i took a vacation and then you guys know uh, with the whole job situation everything got paused since may or june of 2021 and then now we're here start of 2022 and we're testing the water all right let's turn this on see how it goes Flowing through. Awesome, no leaks. Let's test the pellet reactor. You see 
see the air getting pushed out and into the sump right here. But pellet reactor, you see it spinning right here. It has no leaks as well. If you guys want to do this, I did a whole video on it. Um, look for it on the playlist. Here's the UV sterilizer. I did my own kind of piping right here just to get the water coming down here, going back up, and then down into the sump. I think this might leak because the, the fittings were not designed for a union. It's with a cap, with a bar pose, and I fit on these unions right here. We'll check right now. We'll run slow low water pressure. You see the air coming out, it's getting pushed out as well. Once this stops bubbling, we'll check for leaks. Hey, so far so good. I'm touching the, the fittings right here and the unions. No leaks as well. Wow pretty happy with this right now it's super noisy I need to dial everything in um, the lily pipe is pushing water through pretty good all of a sudden it just got like quiet again <laughs> wow the, the entire system is running we just need to fine-tune everything but yeah guys I need to get the filtration in the rock work I need to rinse it off you guys know I put it into that trash can and the trash can burst on me and I just left it out there for a year now so we gotta work on all of that but yeah I'm super happy with the tank nothing's leaking and water's like cycling through now for you guys that are worried that one day I might lose my siphon right here if this aqua clear malfunctions or anything, I'll lose my siphon and the water would continue pumping from the, the sump up into the display and then overflow into my living room. Don't worry about that. I got an I got a little optical sensor to kind of plug into the main pump right here. So if water ever reaches a certain point up here, it would just automatically shut down the, the entire pump. That's coming, I'll do a video on that. But yeah guys, super happy with the tank so far. It's running pretty quiet after everything kind of settled in. I don't hear it gurgling as loud anymore. Uh, maybe if I put my ear right here, you'll hear water coming through. But when I'm right here, it's not too bad. That's it for today. I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to tune in next week. I'll find something to do with the tank. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I'll be sure to update you guys every week moving forward.